Alrighty y'all, so before the video actually starts, I want to give a huge shout out to Professor Darkness, the other person in this video. If you guys, you know, want to go check him out, fantastic content creator, go ahead and check him out. Um, also, this video is quite long, it's like an hour and 30 minutes and stuff like that. It is obviously all about the Trani stuff. Um, it kind of leads into like some type of podcast, basically. So if you guys want a future podcast, a Nikkei podcast between me and Darkness, I know he's down. You know, I don't mind doing one as well. If you guys want that, let us know. And uh, yeah, but hope you guys enjoy the video. Go show some love to my mans. Hello? There we go. Now let me turn up the fucking speaker so I can actually hear you better. There we go. Yeah, that's now better. Yes, yes. Okay, real quick, someone's asked this. So what happens when Chime comes out and she's the best first one in the game? Will this drama will the drama be the same? No, nah, I don't really think so. I don't know. I don't think so at all. I don't think it's going to be the same same case when it comes to Chime. I mean, people are people going to pull for Chime? Possibly. It's always going to be a split difference when it comes to Nikkei community because you know, Nikkei is filled with characters. Let's be real. That are voluptuous and have breast, big breast, adult, pretty much adult looking women. That's just what people expect. And Chime is a lot. Should, uh, I don't even think there should like the Trani stuff. I don't even think there should be drama behind it at all. Nope. I don't think. Look. Right. Like, I get it. I think the character does look the childish right you look at her freaking shooting pose it looks like a child to me right i somebody actually said like i just accuse short woman of like being child children and i don't think that's the case at all right if i just don't like the way the character looks i don't think it should be a drama in the nikkei community you know what i mean yeah and it's like is... i get it right obviously like somebody i forgot who somebody in your car your comments just said the aggression like the aggressive response to it with an exaggerated response to it right me when it comes to me explaining stuff i have to try my best to word it in a way where it's like anybody could understand it because honestly anything i've it's been like this for a year anything i say will get twisted heavenly and it's like there's almost really not been that many times where like i've just said something and someone understood it off rip you know what i mean like i could be for example i could be like i think litter is better than dorothy when it comes to or no i don't even let me say like this i prefer litter over dorothy when it comes to mobs 98 percent of my viewers would just have heard me say litter is way better than dorothy that's how it'd be yeah, I I do understand that fact. <laughs> right? It's so, like, that's, it's weird how that goes because it's like, when it's just kind of the same thing with Trani. I never said Trani was a, okay, let me not say I never said she was a bad character because when you watch that video, the whole point oh, is, it's, it's like, bro, we, I, it's like, do we have to go back and watch the video? No, we're not going to go back. But you were like, you like, literally were like, and stuff like this, that, right? this character's fucking but ass. In the this. video, if, that you, when you watch it and stuff like that, I also say in some point of the time, her damage is very good, which is, she's a DPS, right? Um, now, my thing is, when I say this character's ass, I don't like this character and stuff like that, I actually explained in the beginning, I was like, her play style. I don't like how she puts the brand effect and she has to fight with the clock to get the highest percentage ever. I don't like how nobody else can, you know, help her out when it comes to the brand effect. I don't like that when it comes to the character, right? So I guess when I make the video and I put it out there, it's understandable why people are kind of getting confused because what they hear me saying is Trani's a garbage ass character. Hence why people are saying um, the Pilgrim thing, right? People are blinded by Pilgrim. I'm blinded by Pilgrim damage and comparing it to the new characters, right? I've never mm -hmm. once said, I, okay, let me not say that because I did say these things, but the meaning <laughs> behind it is different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? I guess people just, because of my wording, right i'm not even gonna blame the viewers just because of my wording people took it a different way right mm -hmm. so it's like it's just unfortunate because when you word stuff and stuff like that and you put out the video once i have a, like quite the audience once it gets out there it's out there you know what i mean so it's like it just be like that sometimes but i don't think trani this whole drama of me as a person thinking that the character looks like a child because again like i told you in the your comment right there your chat 
98%. There's been like maybe four comments in total out of the hundreds I've gotten across all the Chani videos where they say, I don't think she looks like a kid, right? And everybody else is saying they either like that she looks like a kid and they like the feet or they don't, right? And it's like, if majority of the people out of hundreds of comments are saying that she does look like a kid, but they either like it or dislike it, then I'm more inclined to believe that she looks like a kid. Right, you know what I mean? But like yeah, everybody else says, right? At least people with reality in the real world, it's an anime character. I get it. But I just pray that it doesn't go past that because I'm getting comments and stuff like that saying, I like kids, I like this, I like that. Not me, but that's what they're saying. They're saying <laughs> you know what I mean? That's literally yeah, I'm, yeah, like you will get those. There are going to be those people that will just take it too far. And literally. that's the point where you just like you have to pretty much ignore those kind of people and push them away but the thing That's is just... for me i find it very disturbing when i see that so i don't want to push it away but i don't want to just come and tackle them you know what i mean hence why i make these kind of like slick comments to them saying like 911 i've called you know what i mean because oh, i don't want if i know that there's an adult a grown-ass man telling me that they're into kids i don't want to just be like okay let me let that slide because they have nothing to do with me hell no i'm gonna have to do something about it or at least, even if it's the littlest thing to kind of like make this guy realize that if it goes past where it's going and obviously i don't know if it's gonna go past the game or if it's not right it's only up to them but if it does go past that point then it's like let me just let them know that's not okay as a grown man at least to me Right, I don't know how you feel about it, but to me, I don't think grown men should be going for young children. Yeah, and I say for me, for how I see it, because we are in the we are literally talking about in the fictional world, guys. Remember this: the viewers, the viewers are also here too. Remember, guys, this is about Trani, the anime character, in a fictional setting. People out there who make those crazy comments, being like. I like kids. I like this. I like that. It's like, okay, buddy. Now we know that you're fucking getting weird. <laughs> Shit is getting fucking weird. Now remember. Now not well not remember. But here's the thing. I make some. I can make some wild takes. You've seen my fucking tweets. You see my tweets about the BA characters. But that as far as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go any fucking further. There's just shit that I will never fucking say, because those are quote because those quote unquote jokes i'm only gonna put in quotation marks because sometimes i just don't be thinking those are fucking jokes that people be saying low-key where they be like i like kids i'm like yeah that i don't think that's a joke brother <laughs> that is not a joke see a joke so. here's the thing a joke would be pretty much my clip from my recent a short that i did where i talked about where i pretty much titled what if i romanced a blue archive character but it's but the clip is out of context so i'm reacting to something so pretty much what I said in that clip, and everybody can go to it, I was like, so what if I, so as said, we're senseis, obviously. So I was like, so what if I get caught smashing a student? And then I just was like, okay, all right, all right. And then everybody was like, this man, this man, wild. Wow, he a devious as sensei. That's the joke. That's a joke. But if I was like, oh, if I was a sensei and teacher real life, bro, these kids are free game. Now that. That is not a fucking joke. That's crazy as hell. Yeah. No. That is crazy. I, I don't do think, think it's really though, a joke. I think Let's it's see. a difference um, when it comes to liking a character. And I say this all the time, but I feel like it's a difference for liking a character based on what the character does in the game and liking them for their appearance. Right? When we get Nikkei characters, we get all their different angles, all their appearances before we even get their kit. You know what I mean? So when mm -hmm. people say they like this character i'm only assuming it has to be of the design before the kit because we don't have the kit until after like days after the character has been released at least announced let me say um i do think though like let you you let me know as another youtuber do you think like the way i went about making that video right because usually that video wasn't really planned to be like it's kind of obvious that video wasn't planned no, to be a video. I, I lo <laughs> the thing that i'm being real with you when i saw your tweet last uh yesterday and like early in the morning when you were like bro i got dislikes on this video bro because no, but i didn't like a character so i had like i had a sneaking not a sneaking but like i had an assumption that he might make a a video later but i don't know if he'll 
go into detail on why that's the reason. And then, like, I was at work, and then I look at my phone, and then I just see the video. I'm like, oh, shit. And then I see the title. I'm like, Tron equals jail. But I'm like, all right, I got to react to this one. This is, let's see what he's saying. Because I, he I hope he's wording this correctly. Because if he doesn't word this correctly, yeah, then people are going to have a fit. Because I've seen this before plenty of times. I do think, though, but, like, this right here, this is, like, another one of those examples where I don't know if it's wording or stuff, but when I made these tweets, right, the two tweets about the dislikes, the cold tweet and the regular original tweet, that had nothing to do with, you know, the amount of dislikes, if that makes sense, right? So this was just a coming after the extension itself, right? Obviously, as a YouTuber, I cannot, if I was to complain about dislikes, I promise you I would not be a YouTuber because I would have been quit, right? I don't get many dislikes on a video. I average maybe two or three per video. But if I did let a number of dislikes get to me, I would not be a YouTuber. I can tell you that right now. But the thing is, the point of these tweets were the original video has seven dislikes. But for anybody who has that extension, they're seeing, as you see here, 30 dislikes, right? Mm -hmm. And the point wasn't that I'm upset that people dislike the video. The point was that that is showing a false number more people are inclined the more people see if someone has the extension and they see that it has 30 dislikes people will just dislike it obviously just because they think a lot of people are agreeing with them right like I, okay no that that sounded so stupid let me just reword what i just said right <laughs> let me reword what i just said that sounded so stupid there's se let me put it like this there's seven dislikes on this video right now right on, on the actual official. video yeah. On the actual video, okay. That seven dislikes on it. it. Well, during this tweet, right? Now it's like a, maybe 14 or something like that. During this tweet, there was seven dislikes. But on the actual YouTube video, there's 30. Some people might not even know what's going on and see 30 and click it before them. So it's kind of like the extension showing a false number is more hurting me in terms of that video. Because it's like it's showing a false number to the actual number. And it's an extension. You can't really expect more. But I'm saying like basically the whole problem is the extension showing a false number. Because, you know, some people don't even listen to the video. They just go along with what everyone else is saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, like following, pretty much following. Following, the literally, right? A if lot of following. The there herd. was a narrative right now saying who's a very popular guy, who's a guy that's never in trouble, but Mr. Beast, right? If there was a narrative mm -hmm. right now about Mr. Beast saying he got accused of doing something horrendous, right? People would just automatically believe it until he was to you know come out and talk about it right so here it's that's kind of where i'm going with with the extension i'm talking about the extension like i don't care if like, videos get dislikes or not i want to make that very very clear right the dislikes cool whatever there's you can dislike you, i want you to come to my channel and feel like you can have your own opinion, your own opinion. i don't want you coming to this channel feeling like you have to agree with zxus because he's the youtuber i don't like that i tell my chat this all the time i don't like when people just say stuff that will please my ears i don't like it like, like guys it's like guys guys it's the same word here it's like even though like like i've said i've said plenty of times me and zx we are pretty much both like we're creators we're creators, we're buds, we talk, we do talk from time to time, but we are very different on how we go against go against things. He's more of, he's he's more bigger than me, so he's like, he has more of a standard to show. I'm off, I'm smaller, but I'm just more of like chilling and fucking relaxing and just not caring. Like, if you're going to say some crazy, if you have a comment and you're going to say it to me, it's like, cool, buddy, cool, what you going to do about it? You can come at me and be like, he played, this man plays B.A. He, he gotta like this. I've heard it all. Don't worry. I've heard it all. And all, and all I'd be like, well, I just smack my mic. And I'm like, well, fine by me. What else am I going to do? Like, I ain't going to change all opinions. You can have your opinion. If you don't like me, you don't like me. If you don't like the content I post, then it's whatever. Just move on. Yeah. I'm so basically, like what I'm saying is when it came to those tweets, like they were not has nothing to do with if people actually like or dislike the video the, the point of that was just saying that an extension is showing a false number to the actual number at hand here basically right it had nothing to do with the community it had nothing to do with nikkei really that was just like a youtube tweet um 
if we go back to Nikkei, though, I do think the Trani stuff, I, I'm entitled to my opinion just like everyone else is, right? Obviously, if I think a character looks like a char uh, something that I don't really like. A character looks like a character. Yeah, I, I think if yes. a character looks like a kid, I shouldn't. <laughs> It shouldn't matter to people, right? It's my opinion, you know what I mean? If the character <laughs> looks like a kid, the character looks like a character. That's a fuck. That's right there, guys. That's a quote right there. And they, that, that's a Deox quote. That's today. just how it be, though. Like, sometimes I just go on, and, like, when I'm talking, like, I don't even, I didn't even catch that. I didn't even catch it. I said, a character looks like a character until you just said that, right? So that's another mm -hmm. thing with me, right? And obviously, I just can't do anything about it. It's just how it's been, right? It's just how I am. But... I feel like it should be. It's just, it's just honestly, it's just so silly. I think it's very silly. It is. It, it it is a silly thing. I can definitely say it is a silly thing. It's not. It's not like too fucking crazy. Where like everybody's gonna be fucking like reacting to it. Now, if there was like if we got like other fucking YouTubers somehow that react, and then then it's like oh shit, then this might actually turn into a little bit bigger for no reason. But it's like. Since it's just the two of us, it's fine. It's just like a little yeah. bit of mis mis not misconception. What is it? That's the wrong word. I'm using all these big words and I don't know what they mean. Misinformation. There we go. Basically, and pretty much people getting confused and confusion. There we go. Right, but it's not their fault they're getting confused. That's that's what I'm trying to also say as well. It's not their fault. It's me and the way I word things. Right. For example, in the video, I said, uh, "What did I say? I said Trani looks like a toddler." Yeah, we, I but we that. all and know that she doesn't look like a toddler, but I was just yeah. trying to use that as an example, hence why I made the note saying it was just a bad example, right? My point is, I think when I give these analogies, I just look at the main context and what's actually being said. And if I give an example, um, it's like, let's say someone was to kill someone and someone was to beat up someone randomly, right? For me, my... I'm trying to explain it to people that no matter which one is worse, it's still both bad. So I always look at the main context rather than what's actually being said. If I say Trani looks like a toddler, obviously Trani does not look like a toddler, but the context is that she looks childlike, right? So there for me, go. I'm always looking at the context of the situation where everyone is just listening to what is actually being said and not actually taking it in. It's like going literally over their heads, right? Another person actually commented saying, Zeoxis, you just made a video saying Trani is unique. So now how are you making a video saying she's ass? And I literally explained it to them if I actually pull it up here. Uh, let me find it real quick. I literally said, when I said she was the unique, there was quotations there. Unique doesn't necessarily, it's not a good thing, right? No disrespect. Mm -hmm. But when I was in school, I went to a school full of delinquents. People would use, we had the special ed kids and stuff like that. Some people, instead of saying the R word, people would use the word unique. Unique could go in many different ways, right? Um, when I was saying Trani is unique, yeah, she's a unique character. I think the brand effect, how she has it, it's very unique, right? That's also, mm -hmm. that's where unique comes from. I think she's a cool character. I think the design they went with is unique, but I do also think that, Trani it's herself is not necessarily it's not necessarily that's childlike. It's just like it's unique, but it's silly at the same time. I don't like how she has the brand effect and only she can do anything to it rather than just having the whole team do something to it like how it is with Dorothy. So she's unique in that way that she can do that, but it's not a good unique, in my opinion. Right? It's not a unique that she wanted uh a whole team based thing and that was another that's another point i want to talk about with like yeah nikkei is a team based is a team based thing yeah you can pretty much build you want the whole team working and yeah. then i also and also in my video i did bring up the whole fact of even if it's a team based thing you can still there have been clips of like jp and stuff jp people who build care build teams centered around one character do a whole bunch of supports and then just nuke the shit out of things I mean, for instance, like probably what's a good example? I know he's not I don't, he's not JP, but Dr. Konoha, when he did that whole Snow White thing where he nuked Gravedigger in one shot, that's one of those cases where he just had some support, like had some supports and shit on his team, buffed that one character and clicked the nuke button and he just destroyed it. So and also another thing with the whole like you have to invest a lot into Trani yeah. in order to get the value you need, which if that's what people want to do then that's fine. I feel like you should also 
you could have also said like if that's the thing you wanted to do for that character and invest, invest in them all the way that's fine if that's one of your favorite characters you could do that yeah but most people won't be investing in that character because we literally came off of a fucking half anniversary and my bitch ass got fucking core five crown and i'm like damn i lost one time i'm about to go into this i lost one fucking time one time got a pilgrim hoping it was mod nope got another black ass but everyone's broke after getting fucking crown. I think her stats, if I can pull it up, I can actually pull it up right now because the game is still open. My um, skills for her is 666. Damn. Uh, actually about to be seven. There we go. 766. All of them. So I'm out pretty much out of fucking resources by then. Yeah. And then now that the fact that Trani came in and Trani kind of lackluster and all that shit, it's like, not super lackluster. Let me say that. It's kind of just like, eh. She's not really like I don't need her since I already have good characters. She's just a collection point because you are at a point where you pretty much have everybody. You're pretty much doing a whole collection game. Basically. I'm still doing a collection game as well. Yeah. Another thing is like this is a very good point actually that I'm glad you brought up. Here's the thing: when I made that video about Trunny, I said I didn't dislike her, and this goes back to what I was saying where people hear what I say, forget the we'll context, and it just goes over their head. If I say I don't like Trani as a, like her playstyle and stuff like that, it's not me saying the character is bad. It's not me saying, you know, this character is just one of the worst characters in the game. People generally thought that I was complaining that we got a bad character. But when Rosanna came out, everyone was mad that Rosanna was bad. And I literally had to make like two or three videos explaining that we're allowed to have bad characters in a game, right? So when I say I dislike a way a character is, that's not me saying it's bad. Right, Alice is a very good character, yeah. but I've made it very clear that I dislike that character as well in terms of how she works. I don't like I having good. to invest into her, selling my soul basically for her to get to where she has to go to, you know, where people start claiming she's a broken character, right? Just mm -hmm. because I dislike that does not mean Alice is a bad character. And that's another thing, right, where... Again, it's just going, the main context is going over their head. And that, that's, that, that's literally the biggest problem with myself and like my community or anybody who watched my video is that a lot of the people let the context go over their head. And I, I don't know, it's like, obviously I don't expect people to be programmed like me, but when I say things, I look for the context rather than what is actually being said. There's always meaning behind something that's being said. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got a comment. I I just got a comment. Every Nikkei needs investing, or you can replace that with like every character in any gacha would need investing. But there are ones that have high investment, and the ones that don't that don't particularly need it. Yeah, which is true. I can first say for at least I'm gonna go to fucking HSR for example. There are some characters who have the high investment values, like Jing Liu, but you got a better payout for it. And see, they're five stars. Five star characters in Genshin Impact. And Honkai Star Rail, holy shit, my resources fucking bleed every time I'd get them bitches level 80, and then getting their traces, and then leveling up fucking relics, and then getting shitty relics in the process. But hey, high investment, but the payoff is worth it because they're actually a good character. Now, if I was building somebody like Misha, for example, the destruction uh, four-star ice unit, yeah. the butler boy, he's not that good. See, <laughs> he can do damage, he has respectable damage. But he's not like Jing Liu or so. He's not Jing Liu. So it's a sense of, you know, it's an investment. He's another case of a high investment and a lot of investment because you need to build a team around him and you got to get him whole relic set for him and getting the right sub stats and main stats. High invest, like all of that shit. Yeah. There's a lot of shit to it. But I would much rather high invest to a character that's going to get me my inputs. Not inputs. What the fuck? This is not a fighting game. My uh, the good give me good results pretty much. That's basically then, what I was trying to explain, and that's the context behind what I was seeing when I said this character you need to invest into, or you need to give her overload gear and all that stuff, right? I even though you need to do that, that's not a problem. At the end of the day, any game you play, you're gonna need to build up a character to use them. It's just how it works in any game, right? But the context behind that is. I wouldn't want to have to fully invest into this character and give this character overload and all that stuff if there's a better character that can do it. And that's the context. But again, 
people let it go over their heads right so it's very difficult i'm glad that you at least understand some of these things bro <laughs> like i'm yeah, glad that you oh, don't worry i've been i i even if i even with me being this fucking tiny i got common sense and i know what the fuck is happening i've yeah, been bro. i've been making like people don't know this i've been making content ever since fucking middle school yep. and i've seen the landscape of youtube change drastically a lot and i've seen how people in these communities can go hold on a minute uh sorry i'm when i ask you are you gonna make another are you gonna make another arc nights video when weathering waves come out yeah i'm gonna be doing that guys don't worry you know i play i'm gonna be giving a game their little videos you just gotta give your boy the time <laughs> because when weathering waves drops it's a new game number one a lot of people are going to be talking about it, and it's a game that I've been excited for. Because uh, Genshin, <laughs> oh, I've never tried that. I've not played that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. And Zeox is another person who won't be trying that because Genshin he pretty much have seen already everything about that game nah, when it comes to Genshin not, Impact. Bro, three-year <laughs> player right here, folks. Three-year players, and guess what? Haven't seen anything good come out of it except for... <laughs> Jeez, bro. I think anybody who plays Genshin is like very silly, and that's just my. I, I think when a game says here is three singles for playing our game for three years, that's my last straw, right? Not that only that, good. they also said they weren't gonna add any new end game content. That's my oh, last straw oh, too. Hold on a minute. Let me rephrase that part. That point right there, actually, because what patch are we on? Four point six, I believe. We're yeah. on the keynote because we had four fucking dead patches. Yeah, actually. Soon enough, in the I believe in the next dev live stream, there have been rumors and maybe some leaks that potentially we're going to be getting finally a new piece of Endgame. Supposedly, that's what they're saying, and they're hope and they're saying it's going to be some kind of upgrade or revision to Spiral Abyss. And I'm like, I don't see this is going anywhere, any like well, any way, shape, or form. If them if they don't drop like a fucking what's the word I'm looking for? Story quest? Cause they haven't dropped a new Archon quest in the fucking while. People are just gonna people are gonna flip, bro. Crazy, bro. It's crazy. But yeah. we're all gonna be but me and Zeox are gonna try fucking weathering waves. Yes, That's sure. a good it's gonna be a good fucking thing for, for us as creators. And it gives us a not only like a little bit of a break from our games, yeah. but it's something new to fucking play at least. And it's gonna be going into another situation of a building this character and trying it out we're gonna be in another case that here here's how here's how i see in the future if he does continue playing weather waves he's gonna be like oh here's this new character here's yin yin lin oh uh yin lin sucks ass and then all the yin lin simps come into his comment section and be like you fucking don't like this character bro you don't like, like that, this bro. character yin lin's not ass you're ass and it's just like oh well it's always gonna be like that <laughs> but you let me know right Right, since you watch my video, right? You be honest. Let me know. Do you think I was in the wrong for feeling how I feel and just putting it out there? Or do you think like do you think that video should have never no well eventually like me giving my honest thoughts for a character that always happens? But That's do you think yeah. the information displayed in the video was a right thing to do, or do you think maybe like you could, I know that you understand where I was coming from and stuff like that. Do you think it's just another situation where it's going over their head? Like, yeah, like if there was anything wrong, you correct me. I, I don't talk to many other YouTubers in this space, so I need like a YouTuber shit, who I does need, content to correct shit, me. Shit, I need people to talk to in the creator. I've been always trying to fucking talk to people in collab. That's me. But um, with your so with that video, what I saw because I because when I was reacting to it, there are points. There, so there are points that did fly over people's heads. Yeah. And I do understand what you were talking about. It's just a case of the way you worded it. Yeah. And I can see a little bit. You, I can see that you were coming out of your little bit of feelings when it came to like the looks when people were saying like, yeah. you, oh, you look at short women. So when you look at short women, you think of kids. And it's like, I can see that that is something you can get. That is something you can get mad about. Because it's like, no, that's not what I meant at all. Like, yeah. I can say for sure. Like, I've seen short women too. I have short short women friends at like my workplace even though they short i don't think they like what fucking 16 or some shit like no it's just that they're short that's pretty much it genetics do things genetics are crazy but i feel like that point like the toddler point that was uh, i can definitely say that was fucking wild all right yeah. that was that was a crazy thing i feel like that was just like 
thrown at a fucking fight. <laughs> I think that that's the that was... toddler thing was a perfect example of the context behind it is what I was trying to put out there, but the wording was horrible because I could have gotten the same context with using a different wording. I could have said something Shut way up. different than saying a toddler, even like, right? Uh, like Trani, it's like I don't like you. Could have been like, I'm fine with Trani design, but to my but in my opinion, she's too she seems too childlike. Yeah, something like that. I could have worded like that. Um, but that's just I guess in the moment that's just how it was, right? Yeah, in the, when, it's just there, how it is when in the moment. When you're pretty much when your emotions are pretty much running a little bit, a little like a little a little high, you do you do say stuff. You can start you so say stuff that you didn't think of at the moment. Like sometimes, like even for me, like I don't think for I speak sometimes, I kind of let my words go out fast and then think about what I at right after. Like for instance, while I talk to you this whole time, yeah, I pause a lot. I pause a lot because I'm not thinking or I repeat myself because I'm like, oh, that's what I said, right? And it's like, yeah, yeah. I even miss say words because I'm talking too fast. I did it in the Ark Knight stream where I miss where I miss word and said something, and I was like, I'm good. At, I have good po po positioning or some shit. I miss said po yeah. positioning, and I was like, po port positioning. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, that's not what I meant to say. But that is again like wording and all that. It is a thing that everybody gotta fix with. I gotta fix it too because some people can get my words mixed up entirely like it, it the whole debacle that happened in discord um ryan ninja knows it no he knows it specifically because he was there to help me out that whole debacle that happened to discord where i had a word people and told tell pretty much three people like three people they were like oh so uh here's the proof that uh you are doing some because they were trying to they were saying some defamatory shit to me like they were like Oh, you're you're on this like Drake and P not PD, you're on this Drake uh Kendrick shit. And I'm like, what? And that's the thing. Hold on, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you the what they were talking about. Yeah. Like, cause when I was in that in that moment, yeah, he was like, it was wild. Cause in that moment when he said, cause I literally diffused the situation. It was two, it was literally two people arguing and talking shit to each other. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna time both y'all out. If y'all don't shut the fuck up, y'all gonna get tied down the server, and it's just simple as that. Yeah. So I timed them out. And then the other two, and then two other people decided to come in for no reason. This is another thing. Minding your own business. I don't get it when people just cannot mind their own business. I already defused the situation, but hey, they want to fucking keep talking. So then one of them was like, oh, do you not understand what you post? And here we go. I'm gonna send it to you right now. Let me see on discord and then they were like oh no no because then because the comment i said because i i didn't check the discord i had to scroll through it because they were also talking about like there was another previous conversation that day they were talking about some crazy shit like someone being a, the, the pedo and i'm like wait what is and then i said like who was talking about all this pedo shit in the discord what the fuck y'all talk about and then he says oh do you not understand what you post and so i'm just like where's the proof Right, right, straight up. Right, where is it? Right, where is it? And this is what the proof he taught. This is exactly what his proof was. Um, that's probably anime hands down number one Hina fan. Oh my god, Hina styles like proof for good animators like this doing the best work. This is a blue archive character. Just letting you know. Yeah, that was in his opinion, in his mind, that was proof. So I just knew in that moment this was going to be a case of. Fiction and reality, context, and all that shit. Yeah. And they were just trying. It was a 3v1. They were really trying to be like, should see me as this crazy, horrible person with the wild fucking desires outside of this game. Outside of the game. Into the real world. And I literally told them straight up. No. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. I like I liked the character. Yeah. I'm gonna make my jokes in the B8 in the B8 scene because that's what I do. I make jokes in whatever community, whatever community I'm in. But is it gonna go any farther outside of that? No. Yeah, it's really just I just don't. I, I just don't get it. Like they it's really, really were they legit simple. tried to smear me and paint me as Drake. They were like, "Oh, he's on his Drake shit." I'm like, and you got exposed for it. And I'm like, "What do you mean exposed? What exposing are you gonna do?" 
Right. He's like, oh, but you're a fucking lollycon. And I'm like, okay, you can call me whatever you want. All right. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Bro had, bro, bro had the nuclear proof that literally changed everything. <laughs> And I'm like, these, that I don't was, know. Like, so, and I'm like, bro, this is not no nuclear proof that changed everything. That just that proof that they show literally was like pretty much saying that you were just a dumbass and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because he was saying, like, do not know what you post on YouTube. So he was thinking that I literally post like let's let's just keep it a buck, CP on fucking YouTube. And if I did that, then you know that shit would never slide with YouTube and people would immediately call it out. Yeah. It's so like, it's like Someone, let's say they listen to this, the diss tracks and they hear Kendrick saying, you know, Drake's a pedo. And then I was like, oh my God, Kendrick just called Drake a pedo. And then someone came into my chat and said, Zioxis, you shouldn't be talking because you use litter in Nikkei. That's, that, oh my fucking God. That, that, I'm so that's glad just you how fucking it be. understand. It, that's just how it Holy would be in shit, the community bro. with me and my whole, like, that's literally how it would be. Oh. <laughs> literally how it would be. This is pretty much. Oh, fuck. We, oh, that's God. literally how it would be and that's why i find it like i don't like there's times generally where i just like don't even want to read my comments right don't but it's like at the same time i don't want to just dub them but it's like when i see that a lot too like where it's like bro it makes no sense if i say oh my god can't you just call drake a pedal and then you come to me talking about buzzyuxus you use a character that looks like a child in the game it's like brother what are you telling me what are you telling me right now <laughs> it's like you're telling me that i'm doing all this crazy shit and your proof was on a fucking youtube thing bro like right like if this was like you're literally saying this like po you're, you're literally saying i'm posting this shit on fucking on YouTube, on public places, you're make you making me think like I'm this horrible person that's just posting this shit on a plate on public areas that can easily be fucking grabbed and sniped off of if people really wanted to. So I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna time out everybody on here because this shit is getting a stupid and I don't need any more conversation about it. Yeah. And I had to fucking restart the goddamn chat because I don't want new people to be coming in. And pretty much getting the fucking wrong idea about me. And I have to say it in my streams or ever in my videos. I'm like, guys, this is about B.A. This is a fictional fucking character. Yeah. If you don't like it, then why are y'all here? That's exactly what I asked them the next day. It's like, if you don't like the shit that I'm going to be posting or talking about, then why are you here? Right. And, and with Nikkei, it's like. How, majority of the people that see Nikkei, they just think it's a game about chest and butt, right? So yeah. for me, I make it very clear. When I'm playing Blue Archive or when I'm playing any other game, if it, like Genshin, let's use Genshin for example. I don't play it, but Nahida, if, right? The Archon girl? Yes. If, if that, Genshin doesn't really have any like sex appeal, right? So you wouldn't, no. if, when Nahida comes out, if I was a Genshin YouTuber and she came out, I wouldn't have made a video saying, I don't like Nahida because she looks like a kid, a kid, right? I have to say that, at least to me, I feel like I have to say that in Nikkei because people see Nikkei as that degenerate type game, right? Do. So like that, that goes back to when the guys at Oziuxis, when you see short women, do you just think they look like children? No. I don't no, have no. a problem with the way Trani looks. I just don't like it. If I had a problem with characters that look like kids in this game, I would have not be using Litter. I would not be using Small White. I would not be using um, some of these other characters who look like kids in this game. I would not be using them if I had a genuine problem with the way they look. Me saying I do not like the way the character looks is just me saying I don't like the way the character looks in this game because people are going... If I, I feel like... If I say, hmm, I like the way Trani looks, people are going to be like, what did that boy just say about this game that has to do nothing Yo, but ass and Oh, my God. It's like, no, if I say something sus, they're going to be on my ass. Be like, hey, 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 that man's a weird ass nigga. I'm like, Bro, it's I, okay. It's I'm so, like, and that's like, fine. that's the thing. But again, I can't like expect people to come to the channel with the exact same mindset as me. And that's why like these things need to be like clarified, right? That's just how it mm -hmm. has to be. Um, It's like the struggle for a YouTuber, right? And it's like, realistically, I could just like, just be like, okay, whatever. Just ignore it, right? And just ignore everyone. But I don't want people thinking like, oh, no, Zeuxis doesn't like me because I like what he doesn't like, right? 
So yeah. I, that's why I try to come back and always try to like explain to these people, I don't dislike you. If you have a feet fetish, if you, whatever it is, and I don't like it, that doesn't mean I don't like you. It's just that I don't like it. It's really that simple, right? It's really, it's just it, like, guys, it's like, if I don't like this kind of archetype or, or, um, what is it, of a character, if like, here's an archetype. If I don't like crazy bitches, which I do like crazy bitches, if I don't like crazy bitches, then I'm not going to like, I'm not gonna like crazy bitches. That doesn't mean you don't have to like crazy bitches. That's just me. It's like literally. Me. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you're here in this community. Sylux, <laughs> Lux preferences people. It's exactly. It's preferences. Like it's preferences. Y'all need to not fucking sleep on my goddamn take sometimes. That's why I'm I sleep. find this whole thing, this whole Trani like quote unquote drama. I just find it so stupid because it blew out of proportion. For me saying, I dislike this. And a lot of people, I guess, like this. It doesn't matter to me what you like or dislike. I could care less, right? I just don't like it. I do my own thing. I look, I'm not worried about what you like. Because at the end of the day, you are not me and I am not you. That's just That's how, it how it is. Like, if you go, like, literally, like, God, someone, fuck, I can't speak. Some people think if you're not on their side, then you're against them. Yup, uh-huh, exactly. And you see it so hard in fucking with the Genshin Impact community. If you say one thing about this character being ass, if you say one thing that you're not a part of this ship or anything about this character, you are gonna get torched and seized on fucking Twitter. It's just how the fuck it goes. And then that community is pretty a pretty much an example for it. And there's gonna be people out there because I like the Hita, I'm fine with the character. If yeah. you don't like the character, whatever. All right, but I'm gonna get those people. Who are gonna be saying the same crazy shit? They're like, "Oh, he's a Genshin Impact, so he's a Genshin Impact fan. He likes actual kids." I'm like, "Okay, first off, you're using the word actual, like the two words actual and literal. People mm -hmm. use those words to really make it seem like you actually like like real life people, real life fuck kids." And it's like, "No, no, the fuck, no, it's not at all. I like Nahida. I like hey. the fictional character. That's it. That's all it's ever gonna be." I'm never going to bring it to that kind of fact. It's just, it's just Literally. It is, right? And I'm about to say something fucking wild, too, that's going to blow your fucking minds. If that shit ever fucking happened, if I ever somehow got to that idea or to that fantasy, I'm going to just blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not lying to y'all because I can't. I'm not living with that. I'm going to just get, get myself, do the finish up the job. Boom. Done. No need for me. But it's never gonna fucking happen, and you will never see it. So it's just, it's just. I don't know. I think, I think it's just they, they just take it too far, or I don't know if people want everyone to be the same or stuff. I think what the main thing is, people just need to understand that you and the next person are not the same. And you see, you get it. See, he gets it. He gets it. Me and me and Zeoxis, we are two. We are creators. Yes, we play pretty much the same kind of sort of the same games we play yeah. dk yeah we are gonna try out these gotcha games yes but our opinions and takes and how we work things and our personalities are totally different we do get hyped for shit yes we do have our opinions on certain characters i'm more chilled and mel melatonin when it comes to talking about meta takes and all these kind of characters yep. as well i'm just not that well knowledge on some of these no fuck i'm not that well knowledge on it uh, on the other side fucking not of uh, zeox He's more knowledge on the game. He knows about the meta and shit. So he's more upfront about it. He's more upfront like, hey, this character is this. This character is that. Character but y'all got to realize character, something. Literally. He's not the end all be all of, <laughs> of, fucking oh God, of a character's take. He's not the end all be all, guys. I'm, I, I, I need people to understand. I, my word, I'm a YouTuber. It's just everything I put out as on my channel is my opinion. If, if I'm using a character and I say his character was bad, it's my opinion. If I look at this character and I say, everyone says Bay is garbage and I say Bay is a and good And then you tank. said Bay was actually good. And right? then I tried out Bay and I'm like, yeah, this character is not fucking bad. She's literally, I made a video on Bay and I was like, pretty much Bay is literally the Fu Xuan of literally literally like, fucking food small. and i tried her out against the witch doctor i was still a little low level but i was living and i was getting to at least parts like who like what is like second health bars to where you had two health bars and yeah. i was living because i was covering and the um what is it the passive that she has so i'm spreading and sharing damage was activated yeah so it's like 
people was like, hey, Bay is fucking ass. But when we try them out, it's like Bay is good. Yeah. In certain scenarios. And it's like people are saying these fine. characters are good or bad without even trying them, right? I just wish people, they literally have a feature that allows you to try the character that's literally out currently. I just wish it was like that, right? When people, everyone says Bay is bad. If I was like the average person in this community, I feel like, where when someone says, because let's use Pridewin as an example. Everyone uses oh Pridewin and takes oh. their word as law. Jesus, and that's bro, fine. Pridewin. If you Hold like on. Pridewin and stuff like that, I use Pridewin as well to go back and look at their stuff. But I don't let Pridewin's rankings or decision on a character be my final say, ex especially if I'm testing the character. Pridewin says Bay is ass. Even my guy, uh, Loot and Waifus, he says Bay is ass. But when I use Bay, before Bay came out, I was struggling on the content with the story. I couldn't push past it. Bay came out and she took me from literally where I was stuck on for like the last month all the way to the end of that chapter. And that's just how it is. So when I use the character and she's doing something like that for me, yeah, I'm going to say the character is good because when I try other characters who are also classified as a tank and they're not doing it, then guess what? I find Bay to be better than them. But I guess because I don't know how Pridewin ranks their stuff or anything like that, but when Pridewin puts out any ranking, that's why, I, ooh, the one time though, actually, where I was actually generally like surprised with the community is when Black Shadow Scarlet came out, right? And this goes back to everyone's opinion about a pilgrim. They ranked Scarlet, the Black Shadow one, quite low in the like average player's eyes. Everyone wanted to be triple S, all da, 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 da. They put it like S and A tier. And everyone was flipping out about that's why on their tier list now, if you go to it, it says high deficit, low deficit. Before it used to say late game and early game, but now it says low deficit and high deficit. And they only worded it like that because of the incident with Black Shadow Scarlet. And now, even if you take a look, they actually fixed up her rankings. I'm looking at it triple S, triple S, triple S, and S. Uh, double S, double S uh, for high deficit and PvP. Everything else is triple S. It was not like that before. And that's why I was like, hmm, I don't think she's, you know, the rankings that Pridewin ranked her in. But when, obviously, they did rank her low, all the community, the entire community was coming after Pridewin. So that was the only time where I was genuinely surprised. I was like, wow, they really, like, they proved to me that they could have their own opinion. But every other time, it's like, I just wish they try out the character. And I'm not expecting you to summon for every character, but I just wish you tried out the character first. And then you give me your actual opinion from your own testing, not what someone else says, right? And that's just how yeah. it is. I was hoping... Are you recording this? Uh, yeah. Oh, I was, I was dead ass like, he better be recording this shit. This is a whole... This is about to be a video for me too. Yeah. This was about to be... Oh my guys. <laughs> This was never fucking planned, but I'm telling y'all fucking yeah. right now, this shit about to be a whole ass video. But after this, after this the was, whole the time, I'm going to ask you, I was going to say job, I was recording this, it, if you want me to put it out and stuff like that. I'm like, this shit, no, oh, put it out. Get your fucking bread, bro. I'm going to do the same fucking damn thing. Yeah. But <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to title it like, like Professor Darkness confronts the exes about the Tronny drama. <laughs> about the Tronny drama. Because right. this shit is too fucking hilarious. Because literally, like, we are... We we are literally like talking about some real ass shit yeah. right here. Like this, like guys, we are like I've said before, we are two careers with two different opinions. And he came to me. This was never fucking planned, by the way. Nope. If you guys think this was planned, this was never planned. Not planned. I literally was like in my cause last night when I made that video and finished it, I was like thinking in my head, like, is he gonna make is is there a possibility he'll see the video and not only see the video, will he also like respond to it and talk about it and probably yeah. give his takes as well because that's what i was not really hoping but that's what i was wondering and i also said it in your community post we were like talk about the whole trying thing i was like bro make a video and get your break that's literally the best thing you can do and that's why i want to talk to you about it and i wasn't going to record it initially but i was like in this video it's a perfect chance for viewers from either my community or your community to see both of our takes and then also kind of get where both of us are coming from in terms of what we say, or at least towards this incident with the Trani thing, which again, I don't think it should have been an incident. It's just me giving out my opinion. But in this video, we kind of like talked about how my opinion is my opinion. It should not affect nobody else. Because this was indeed like what I saw when I was like, because I think with the tweets about the whole the dislikes and stuff, I kind of went, I believe, I think I believe I went a little too far and with my predictions game, I was like, oh, he's definitely probably talking about the Tronny 
He's probably yeah, no, talking about the Toronto This was literally just about the extent. Like, when I made these tweets, because I made these tweets, a, like, a, a, a long time ago as well about something else, right? And it's, like, just the issue with the extension. It has nothing to do with Nikkei. It has nothing to do with Trani. It literally just has to do with how an extension is showing a false number to viewers who have this extension and because of that it could harm videos because people again they just listen to whatever they just follow a crowd yeah so Which if, is very... if it's showing a false crowd 49 dislikes in this last tweet i made 49 dislikes but only like 10 people disliked it that's an additional 39 people who did not even dislike the video but that's what's being displayed to them so when they see a big number like that you know what, let me dislike, because the crowd is saying that this is wrong. Because the whole crowd, because literally the whole ass fucking crowd will say it. Bro. Right, that so when it came to that tweet, that was literally just about the extension harming, um, not just my channel, but like, it's because it's not really harming my channel realistically, but it was just saying like, this is oh, not no, how no, 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 no. You, right. you think like tiny ass 42, seven dislikes don't harm you, bro? That shit don't do anything. No, that shit ain't harming him at all. It's not, but... It's just like I. That's why I have like I was like, yo, let me record this, and then after I'll just hit him up and be like, I'll let it, I'll leave it up to you. You want me to put this video or not? Because I think this was definitely going to be the perfect time for people to get different opinions, not just me, right? And then also like come up to it a conclusion. But I hope people get the main message of you know context is where at least for me, when anytime I say something, my whole thing is the context rather than just like what i'm necessarily saying so if i say again i want to bring it back up but the trani looks like a toddler i'm not trying to really like i know i said that but the context is i'm just saying childlike it looks like a childlike character toddler is a crazy word to use i will admit yeah. that was a well, horrible said, like, word to toddler use. i was like what the fuck <laughs> right? I, I'm, it, bro, in the back of my head i was like oh sh no don't <laughs> say that my nigga no. they about to get your ass no. <laughs> Right. That's how they get your ass right there. Yeah, but like it's just the context. So when I put this video out, surely, hopefully, because it's, it's it's basically a drama video. They, I don't. I I love drama myself. People just love drama, bro. It's just how it be. And that so. video, it it has. To, it do not put it on the Kami Zox. You got to put that shit on the main channel. You, you just yeah. That's to. going. This is going on main channel. It's going out to that has to go on main channel because if you put it on the Kami, nobody will fucking know about it. This video has to be something where it's like right. It's obviously about the Trani drama, but there's a main message in this video that anybody from any game can kind of get from how youtubers see just the community what they're saying what they put out the reaction to what they put out what they say and all that extra stuff because mm -hmm. he he literally like he came to me in my chat he was like yo you want to talk about this and i'm like all right sure we could talk about this for some reason and then <laughs> in my head at the moment I'm like hey, hold i'm about to be on my tech tone shit real quick let me talk to this man <laughs> <laughs> you want my tech tone shit real quick let's it's time to have a conversation in discord yeah. and then we're pretty much we all spoke about the whole trani stuff you guys here and the viewers got brought out your points and stuff yeah pretty much we both have our take because he literally was because he literally was like bro i'm glad you're here i'm glad you were actually able to say the things that you were thinking you were correct i'm like yeah yeah i'm like guys 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 i may be stupid sometimes all right. Sometimes I could say I may be stupid sometimes, but when it comes to serious topics and takes, yeah. I'm going to give it to y'all straight up. I watch your videos and when I watch your videos, I'm like, yo, there's not many like YouTubers that are really like this. You know what I mean? Like there's people, especially like the smaller ones, right? That kind of like the stereotypical thing in the YouTube community that smaller YouTubers will just say whatever they want to the bigger YouTubers, right? I'm not even that big, obviously, but I'm just saying like smaller YouTubers will say something to please the bigger YouTubers ear to get something out of them, right? But when I watch your videos, even when the, do you remember the crown and Modernia costume got you into it? I know you made a video uh, to my video about that. And I was watching, I'm yeah. like, yo, thank God this guy's in our community, right? Because obviously, we don't really have many YouTubers in the Nikkei space. Um, and honestly, besides really myself, you, and even Loot and Wife, who's not many people really talk about incidents or dramas and stuff like that in the community. I think Guitar Rock as well, right? But not many people talk about just drama or incidents in the Nikkei community. So, right, I'm like, I'm like, but when I hear you talk about it, I'm like, I'm not hearing something that I, like, when I hear you speak, I'm not hearing someone that's just saying something to please my ears. I'm hearing someone who's giving me what they feel, what they think. Because that's generally how, that's 
genuinely how I, because I had a comment. You can probably go to that video if I got to find it. You can probably go to that video because I believe I had like one comment. There was a commenter that was like, bro, you're only doing this just to fucking rage bait out here about the gotcha skins. And I was like, bro, rage bait? Yeah. You said, you're telling me I like the two videos I spoke about the damn gotcha skin. I was rage baiting. There was no way, cause that's how I genuinely feel felt. Cause I'm I'm expo I can be hype I can be hyper. I'm a hyper dude. Yeah. I can be explosive at times. But that was a point in time where I was genuinely mad. I was tilted because this was very messed up to see people complain about. Like they were complaining so bad about it. And then when I put in, I made a video of summoning for the fucking Mardinius. Oh, damn, people get pissed off when I say names, but I'm going to say what the fuck I want, guys. You already know how it goes. But when I um, posted a skin about that, spending 50 bucks, people were like, 50 bucks? <laughs> Cope. <clears throat> that shit's cold. Cold? Nah, nah. Yeah. He he he. He. I'm like, guys, guys. I have a job outside of this, my boys. You know I work. You know you you guys know I fucking work, right? I can make this money back. YouTube is just a fun thing to do. The money when it comes to YouTube is just an extra thing to me. It's like when people give sub. It's like when Blue gifted me a whole bunch of subs, and then they also give it when I gave gifted sub to um Zyax as well. Yeah, I was just like, it's just a little, it's just an extra thing. I didn't have to do it, but I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. Because I enjoy this stuff, and I enjoy my mans, and I want to support them. It's the same way when it comes to the fucking gotcha skins. I'm supporting the, com the company that I'm investing in. So, I, I, I don't get it, guys. And I do like how the fact where I said, like, this, the, this Mordina gotcha skin drama has gone too far. And then, like, the whole, the problem, quote-unquote, with gotcha skins, I did say a lot. Like, because there were some dumbass complaints about, there, there were, there, for some reason, people were like, why is the Mordinius, why is the Pajama Mordinius skin free? But, did, why can't this one be free? And I'm like, guys, that, do you not remember that that was a, a voted thing? Yeah. And it's that, like, that was a, when it comes that to that, thing. the Modernia incident, um, I think... Even though I can understand, you know, it's locked behind the transformation and stuff like that. But I can, I, I'm like 99% confident that if Modernia's gotcha costume skin with the transformation version was free, you'd hear nothing. Mm-hmm. You'd Nobody hear nothing. Would. The problem isn't that it's a transformation locked behind the paywall. Because if you have access to that transformation just for free, then you wouldn't complain. It, the, the, narrative of a new modernia character would no longer be sub like it wouldn't matter because you have it for free right the problem is that you have to spend money to get that skin so it's like you know I, that's why i say kind of keep that same energy right to like everybody i say if you have an issue with modernia's transformation being a skin that you have to pay for if they were to give it for free still have that issue of it being a skin that is a transformation still have that problem if your tune switches because you now got it for free then that means you never really cared if it was a character or a skin you just cared about you being able to get it or not right with a character you're guaranteed through pity and stuff like that you don't even have to spend money you could save all your gems all that stuff but with the skin you have to work for the money and then use that money to get it so i just say at least if you are if you're that passionate about it being a transformation as a skin keep that energy or if it was to happen keep that energy if they were to give it for free still complain about it being a skin a transformation on the skin just keep that same energy as you're going because here's a fact here's another thing guys there's going to be new players even if they gave that shit out for free you still need to get the character literally you literally still need to get the character yep. and you will never know how long it will take it can take fucking months free to plays it can take goddamn months to get a character yep. and you have a skin just sitting there for free that you can't use that you're just looking at and it's like, well, damn, I got this skin, but, like, I can't do it. Me, me who bought the skin but don't have the character, same here. I did it because I can. That's literally how I see it. Okay. I did it because I'm actually able to do it. It's just how it is. And I'm just hoping to actually get the character. Eventually. And that's why I feel like any drama with gotcha costume skins is over-exaggerated because 
You're not forced to buy this skin. You're not forced. I have this skin. It doesn't do nothing but change the way my Modernia looks. It's optional. It doesn't do anything. So and the whole thing with the, the story part. Now, yeah. that's the one. That's another part I really want to talk about is this whole gatekeeping of the story. And I explained it in either one of those videos. I literally said, guys, that skin is not story locked at all. Because you want to know how it's not story locked? Yeah. You don't need the skin to still see it in the fucking story. Because guess what? The side stories, you can, uh, the side stories unlocks at a certain part of the actual main story. If you guys don't remember, they literally said, hey, the side stories are going to be an extension off of the main story. Yeah. So when you get far enough into the main story, then the side story will unlock. Then you can do the side story. You see the transformation. You do the crown event, which will probably come. It will come back eventually in the future and be archived. You yeah. can do that event, see it put in action, and then when the when pretty much she comes back in the main story, she's still going to be in that transformation. And it's like, how is it story lock still? She's still going to be used. She's a main character. She's dead ass a main character in the story. The important characters are the pioneer squad. Your squad, your own squad, yep. and more, and her, and Mordinia plus Crown. Well, well, we don't know if Crown's gonna continue, but um, still like go through the story. But Mordinia is one of them is important character to the story, so we're still gonna see her. So saying that it gatekeeps story is pretty ridiculous because it's not gatekeeping anything. They have a whole set process on how you can still see the skin and how you see the character. You go through that process. And then when you get to those points in the story, you're like, oh, my God, that's cool. Yeah. That That's pretty much how it is. It's just I hate, I hate how Peep said was it was story locked behind a paywall. It's voice lines playing with them. All actual story is available for free. And that is the general lining of it. Yeah, but the thing is, they want to use it. They want they want to use it. Yeah, they want to. That's the thing. They want like, to use it. Guys, a, and also, here's another thing. This isn't Destiny Child. You want to know why Destiny Child had to go out of service? They were too fucking generous. Mm -hmm. They they were too generous. That's just how it went. When you're too it's generous. It's business. Out, yes, it is a fucking business in it's the end, guys. It's called a business, people. I try to, like, every because any time I even slightly defend the gotcha costume skin they're like oh my god they can't really hide this guy to defend this crap this is all bullshit and he's gonna hired this guy him. like you're for like you were hired by fucking chip dub they were like, like we need to get this this you're, you're canadian right yeah yeah they had to get this this canadian yeah. canadian just be like oh boom right there we're it the korean like company hire the canadian money boom. because guess what and i say all the time people the free to plays especially Thank the oh people God, who are dude. spending money on this game because oh. without them, if if everybody who spent money on Nikkei stopped spending on Nikkei for the next year, every single player say bye bye to Nikkei. The only reason why Nikkei is still running is because they make money from it. You think they want to do all this stuff for free? No, it's called a business. They have. They literally need the fucking money, guys. They need the money. It's like called a you business. You think Fortnite wanted to be a Fortnite because they just wanted to make it for people? No, they wanted to make money. No game ever. They don't make games for just... Obviously, like, when they're making games, they can enjoy making games and stuff like that. But the yeah, main yeah, goal is the money. If That's why games even shut down. If games no longer make money, if they genuinely just cared about making a game for people, then games would still play or games would still have service regardless if they were making money or not games shut down because they no longer make enough money to support it and if they make no longer they don't make enough money to support it then you know what's going to happen they're not going to continue supporting development they're going to shut it down that yeah because if everyone just buys monthly what do you mean wait what do you mean red by just buys monthly do you mean like buying the monthly pass because if that's the case if that's only 20 dollars, my boy that's yep. still not enough that's not that is still not enough to cover all their shit. Just buy twenty dollars sounds like it go a long way, but in the actuality, it's still not gonna get the bike even to top ten grossing like gotcha right. games. Like for anybody in, in the chat and anybody who watches this video, let me ask you a genuine question. Do you think if for the next eight months Nikkei only averaged two to five thousand dollars a month, do you genuinely think they're going to be like Let's continue with development for this game because the people want this game. 
No, if they're not making money anymore, they're not going to want to keep, you know, putting all their hard work into it's like working for free basically nobody wants to work nobody without work compensation and i yeah. like people need to get that through their heads that's why when people spend money on the gotcha it doesn't matter just let them spend the money because at the end of the day you get to continue playing nikkei whether they get it or whether or not that's the only connection y'all have them spending means you get to keep playing the average um free-to-play player plays less than 20 dollars yeah that paying less than twenty dollars isn't still gonna do shit. That's not enough. It's still not enough. That's why we have a hundred dollar fucking packs for a reason. Literally. Do you think less than twenty dollars for this company is going to keep Shift Up out of the fucking ground? Remember, guys, Shift Up was developing a console game as well. They had a console game of Stellar Blade being made. They also were making the um Nike in the process. My guys, like. They need the money. They were in a spot. They were in a spot where pretty much financially, if Nikkei flopped, they were fucking cooked, bro. They were cooked. Genshin has six, six, the 65 million monthly players and makes 70 billion a month, which means the average pays like 30, 30, 30 cents. Holy shit. Do you know the difference with oh. Genshin and Nikkei? There is a big ass difference. <laughs> It's the whales oh, in the game, y'all. I'm sorry. Like, the average player is not spending. What that person just did there was basically t they took the monthly amount of players and then how much they made and broke down that money from the players who are currently playing. That's not not That's 65 not million monthly players does not mean every it's, single person yeah. there has it's spent spending. money. No, that does not mean at all. Just right. because we have, just because we have like five thousand players playing Nikkei currently, does not mean all five thousand of those players are going to log into the game, spend a dollar, yeah. five dollars, and just log off. People are not just going to keep spending money willy nilly like that. Yeah, that's just not it. That's just not how it works. And they did make a, they did make a move when it came to the gotcha skins. Because they were seeing, they I can definitely tell with the company, they were seeing that revenue was kind of low when it came to the recent characters and banners. So they decided to throw in a ball, throw a ball game and drop two fucking gotcha skins. Yeah. And they were a story shit. They were transformations. People liked them. I bought one. Well, I bought both because, like, I just want to be both. That, that's pretty much it. I bought both because I wanted to and I can. Does that yeah. make me like a bad person because I bought some stuff? And then it's like, Guys, no, it does not. It's does not, guys. Like, you gotta think of where Shift Up is pretty much at. I mean, look at the collab when it came to fucking um ReZero. Yeah, I'm so I'm so surprised they still were able to make it out of that because people did not like that ReZero collab no, at all. They did not. But they made it out and they made it out somehow. So they had to they had to go all out the next time they were doing this. You gotta think. Like we got to Bay, cool. Bay was hot. Bay was sexy. Yep. There's a reason why people pull for Bay. Don't you motherfuckers in my comments? Don't be like, because I I have I have people. There's like one or two people in my Discord. I got those people who are like, I don't be pulling for the titties. I pull for the met nigga. Shut up. Yep. You you pull for the titties as well. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I though. I genuinely I wouldn't be, be surprised if Nikki made. Different. Go ahead. Go ahead. I I I don't want like I I don't like when people are like when specifically when we're playing like. A degenerate game like DK. Yep. I don't, I don't like when people are like, I'm not here to play. I'm not here for boobs or the characters. I'm here just for the meta. And I'm like, no, you're not. Stop this, just, please. Just, just stop. Please stop. stop. You should just stop. Bro. stop. There's right. a reason why people pull for Summer Mary, Summer Helm. Yep. And there's going to be a main reason when the Summer Skins come out. You are going to pull the characters because they're fucking hot. You like gooning over the characters. Yep. Stop trying to be different. You not tough. You not hard. You like everybody else playing this game. If you were so tough and alpha male-ish, quote unquote, because yep. that's all they want to be. Like I'm only here for trying to get high and shit and do all the good shit. If you were here for all that, then why the fuck are you playing DK, bro? Let me use the character as an example. Look at Rupee. If you are on this live stream or watching this video and you own Winter Rupee, you did not summon. Because you like her lore. You did not summon for none of that. You summon for this character's outfit because this character is not doing anything for you whatsoever. If you spend money for her, it's because you wanted her on the game or you want her on your account because you liked the way the character looked. Looks. 
Li- like literally, like literally. Right. And here, and then again, then again, if people for that with well, the whole story process, there the whole story thing. There are people who have played the summer event. I said summer. Damn, hold on. The winter event, and yeah. people can definitely say I've seen. I played the winter event, and people really yeah. did enjoy the winter event. And there are people out there who do like the story, but there are also that section of people who are only there pulling because the character looks fucking attractive. And I can clearly say, yes, Rupee's a goddamn attractive fucking character I would hit. But there, just to say that I'm not pulling for this character because, well, I'm only here for the meta. I am i don't pull for these characters because they're hot. It's just like, that's just a statement that I do not want to hear because you are literally with all of us in the same boat. Why do you, you think everyone the says too. they're saving for the summer units? Out of all the different celebrations you get in the game, why do you think the most it's people save for is the summer? Because there, this is a game with only girls, and that means bikinis. There's no dudes in here. I mean, hold on, let me take my fucking jacket off so y'all can really see what the fuck I'm talking about right now. Because I'm getting hot in this bitch. <laughs> y'all are only here because, A, they got titties. They got ass. Simple. And I'm here in a bikini. It's literally it. Right. You motherfucker. I'm about to pull up. A, I'm about to pull up the summer skits. Right, the summer people right now. Let, let me I'm put it like pull. this: If let's say Ray dropped, right? Let's say for summer they gave oh Ray God. a swimsuit outfit oh and she was my garbage. God. How much of you guys are gonna summon? Not a damn one of not you guys because she's not person. good and she doesn't look good. But you know what? If they dropped. Red Hood and she, they obviously she's a pilgrim, so I doubt it's ever gonna happen. But let's say okay, they no, 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 no. Here's the pil- okay, here's the pilgrim part. I I actually have a prediction with the pilgrims. It's a wild ass fucking prediction. I was like, yo, the Pioneer Squad going on a vacation. Boom, Summer hey, Snow White, Summer Rapunzel, and Summer could. fucking Scarlet. I had that was my <laughs> Summer Gotcha Summer Skin Scarlet. Boom. I know your ass would probably sell for it just for the beeves. It's like, hey. I'm pulling for this summer gotcha scarlet skin because yeah. uh, I'm now I got a scarlet now. It's that's just that's just my wild is. opinion, but go. It's just how it is. Ray, they could drop a swimsuit. Ray, they can make her garbage. No one's gonna summon. They can give her no exact one. same kit to someone like Helm, someone like Marciana, someone like D. They could give it to any of those characters, and people would summon because of how she looks, right? So please don't tell me you're summoning because the character is this good, da, 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 da. because if they gave these bad kits to the characters that look good, how do you think so many people summon for Rosanna? <laughs> Why do y'all think so many people summon for Rosanna? She because wasn't, was Aid as well. Aid is one of you, like honestly, one of the worst releases I've ever seen in this game. Bro, she does it, literally oh nothing. And so oh much people God. summon for her because they like the way she looks. Oh it's how it is. Please do not tell me you are summoning. Like, I'm not gonna say there's not people out there who save their currency for just the meta, right? Because there are people who just, there you know, meta people. There, are there are people are. who just want to get the characters so they can finally beat content. There definitely is like that. But in this game specifically, majority of y'all care about the character the way they look. That's just how it is. Especially right. if y'all say a lot of these characters are bad, but you own them. How many people have Summer Neon? She's not that great of a it's character either, ass. right? It's but everybody ass, likes bro. the way Neon looks, so they summon for her, right? I know my guy Gogo, he loves Neon, I know. Uh, I think he likes Eight as well. I don't know if he's summoned for Eight, but I know he's summoned for Neon, and that's because he likes the way she looks. It's not the character is garbage, and they look good. You're gonna summon. It's just the reality. I'm looking at it right now. Here's a picture, guys. Here is Summer Helm. Yep. If you gave, if you showed Summer Helm to people when summertime is happening, and you were like, "Yo, you should try out Nikkei." Here's this character of Summer Helm. You can literally see through her fucking shirt, my boys. Yep. You are there because she has boobs. That's it. You have boobs. Well, fuck. She has boobs. There you are. But I'm about to I'm about to blow your minds too because he's brought because he literally just brought an example with fucking um when it came to Ray. If we came because another thing was Leader because Leader had a battle pass skin. Yeah. And people wanted and some people got it. I fuck. I wish I was there to actually get it. But, I forgot well, to get it. I would have gotten it. How did you forget, bro? Oh my! I forgot a lot of skins. I forgot the Rupee Bunny Row one as well. Right? God damn! How did you forget that one? Actually, but for me, when it comes to Litter's outfit, I would have gotten it because I think she actually looks drippy, right? And not only that, I 
use this character all the time. But I think the varsity jacket on her is cool. I think the thing on her back, the floaty on her back is cool. I think yeah. this character gains drip with that outfit. So for me, I would have gotten that outfit because of the drip. Amelia, I don't like Amelia's gotcha costume skin at all. That's why I didn't buy it. I didn't like the maid I outfit. That's why it. I did not get it, right? But if it was something else, it, it, it doesn't matter if it's a gotcha costume or not to me. If it was something else that looked good, I would have gotten it guaranteed. Here's okay. So here's another thing about to blow your mind. I'm literally no. I'm letting y'all know right now. If a summer, if I predict this correctly, if we're going to get a school fucking field trip, and if it's Ray <laughs> Tiga Tiga, man, I just said the comp. What the fuck? Why? How does? Okay. And if it's gonna be the Tiga, the Tiga brothers. I said brothers, sisters, and Marciana. Out of all these fucking characters. You're not nobody summoning nobody, on fucking summer Ray. Not a single one. Because even she, if Summer Ray got a little swim, got a little basic yep. school swimsuit yep. outfit with a little floaty. The only way people would then summon cute and all that shit. Nobody's summoning no because you know why? You all, all you guys like is one thing. Yep. And guess what? It's fucking titties. That's she gotta it. be at least six foot tall, boys. She gotta be six foot red hood looking. She got to be Red Hood. She got to be Scarlet. She got to be Rapunzel. She got to look like one of those goddamn females. Otherwise. The only way they would summon for that, if she was a swimsuit character, is if she's literally like so broken that if you don't have her. If she was fucking Summer Anis. If she was literally. literally, She has to be so broken for people to be like, okay, I want to summon. Right. But if she's not that and she gets a swimsuit, we'll see. I want them, honestly, just to test my theory, I want them to now give this character a swimsuit, have it last all of June, have it last from the start of June to the end of June, and we will see what the revenue looks like for this character after she's bad and has a swimsuit, and then do it again the next month with Helm or Marcian or whoever, whoever the craziest character in this, Dorothy, do it for Dorothy, make her bad as well, but give her a swimsuit, and we'll see how the revenue jumps up, I promise you. I'm just telling you right now, there is a difference when it comes to these kind of things. That's it why you is. don't see most of these fucking young looking characters. It is. That's it. Literally, we've only got like you three know. summonable like characters who, who, who would I say like looks like, um, like, like looks young like that child, are summonable. Like, yeah, yeah child child that are like summonable. Maybe, um, Leader. no, she wasn't a summonable character though. Oh, oh yeah. Like summonable. Uh, I mean, like who we, let me take a look at some of these characters. Yeah, let me look here. at that. We don't, yeah, we don't have many. We literally don't, don't get have many because they many. know, they know what's not gonna fucking sell, right? Hence why, like, when you look at Trani, her whole yes, thing man. is feet. Not even <laughs> her whole thing is feet. That's what they're selling to you—the feet for the character. That's her whole thing. But when you yeah. look at who, like, we don't really get none of them, bro. So I don't know why. God damn, bro. When they, when they show, I was like, this burst animation about to be crazy as hell. And guess what? I predicted that shit so fucking right. I was like, God, notice the only th- I could think of only two, and that's Innocent Day Snow White and Ray, and both of them were free. You know why they were free? Because they knew if they dropped them and they were bad and they didn't have anything that would like make people want to summon, then people would just skip on them. Oh so my God. Yeah. Literally. Oh yeah, fucking Snow White. That is so fucking true. The only There's time only... Nikkei has these like childlike characters, they basically give them for free. With Trani, what they had to sell was her feet. Not even the character, it's her feet. That's why her whole design is her feet. They could have given that to any other character. I feel like if Trani didn't have the feet thing, I could see a lot of people not summoning on the banner. Mm-mm. I mean, here's another thing. I know here's another character that we are... We are pretty much um, kind of missing. The, we're not missing the point. What we're also kind of forgetting about yeah. is, well, Brown's fucking partner herself, Chime. Chime. And I, mean, I, can I like say, Chime as a character I because like of the Chime. story. I do like Chime's design through the story. But she doesn't. She does. She give. Here's the thing, guys. Does Chime give off pretty Chime. much this child like child sense to you to be to me? To me, when I look at Chime, because looking at Chime, I don't see it. She just looks like a very fucking short woman. Because who who would get? Because in Nikkei's case, in Shift Up's case, when designing, who would give them those kind of fucking pants? Like Literally. if you generally looked at her design, look at Jackal. That's a good example. 
Oh yeah, Jackal's another case as well. Look at Jackal. Jackal is another I love case Jackal as, well. as a character. I made I like that very Jackal clear. Well. I've made that very I love this character as a, the character design, but she's short. But that what yeah. you know what I mean? So that's why I go when someone she, that, she, that one go back to that comment, oh you think short girls like children. No, look at Jackal. She that's the literally definition of someone who you can clearly see looks like an adult, but is just short. Bro, she's literally like I could probably tower over I could probably tower and fuck over her, guys. If we really wanted to put some of these characters side by side to us, some of us we're gonna be looking down. I'm five ten, so I can I'm gonna be probably looking down at most of these characters. Mm -hmm. Some of these other characters probably got high heels, and uh, well, that's called the cheat code to height. Mm -hmm. We don't got that. But Jackal's another case of she's a short woman, but she also has a chest. That's another thing that people is like, yep. she got a chest. That's but why. Like, they, it's if they like, don't well, have also, either the chest or the the butt, Nate. If they don't have ass or chest, then people are going to be like, nah. Nope. Then they literally it, have to be like a top hard. 10 unit for people to actually want to summon. And that's what I feel like it is with Trani as well, right? Because don't get me wrong, Trani does great damage. She does great damage if you, you know, give her all the buffs and all that stuff for her to do the damage. You invest into her, all that stuff. But here's my question. Is Trani that good of a character where you would summon for her because you genuinely need her? Even though you have Red Hood, you have Moderna, you have Scarlet, you have all these other pilgrims. Do you need Trani on your account? No. So what did you summon for her for? The feet. Because you like, you like her because of her design. The feet. Her feet. That's pretty much how it is. And then if you look at Chime, for example... I don't know what the well, like chime it looks like chime has fucking leather on her she has an actual chest she does have a chest to her yeah, guys she does. like if you if you do look look closely she does have a chest she gives off the vibe of a very very short fucking woman i think she's like she's like around kilo's height because kilo is also kind of short as well yeah and i love kilo too and i like it i like kilo I like too the last kingdom event. i like the last kingdom event guys it's, yeah it's just because she has melons Though even though she doesn't save him, wait, what? But hold, I can't say the name. Beltora, yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. eighty. These they're are characters 80. who are literally short, but they have the things that people like. That's why they will summon for them. But if they don't, if they're not top ten and they don't have what you like, you're not summoning for them, and that's they're just not the reality, right? Everybody like I want. To, it's like I'm here for rest, but if the character ain't got nothing there, then I'm gonna assume. Then people are gonna be like, I'm gonna assume that's literally. the case. Like, Cut off Trani's feet, more than half of y'all would not have summoned for her because you have Red Hood, you have Moderni. Moderni and Black Shadow Scarlet came out at the same time. I know you oh, have no, both no. of them if you're playing you during know, that time. You, you have Crown, that. you have Red Hood, you have Summer Niece, you probably have Lud Miller. You have these characters who are just 10 times better. So what do you need to summon for her right after Crown especially? Why would you need to have Trani if she's not making that much of a difference from the characters you already have that can get the job done? Nope. It's just personal preference, which is the feet. If you have pilgrims, you're already set. Yeah, pretty Literally. much. If you got fucking crown, my nigga, you are Literally. set. You are set. I have core five crown. <laughs> I didn't need that. I wanted just to get other pilgrims. That's why I kept Literally. summoning. Well, I have this busted ass character that's helping me pretty much meditate, meta shit on most of these fucking um, things in the game. Yeah. And if pilgr pilgrims are notoriously hard to get, so begging on having them is not a, is not acceptable either. Yeah, exactly. It's another thing, like, because they are hard to get. I'm still missing Snow White, Isabel, uh, Modernia as well. I'm still missing all of them, and yeah. I keep getting I keep getting dupes. Because guess what? I got I'm at fucking door. Got another Dorothy copy. Got another Red Hood. When I finished the Red Ash event, that was main character. Mm -hmm. That was so main character, bro. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just the main character of Nikkei. Just, just letting y'all know. My bad, bro. My bad. But uh, not trying to flex here with my core five crown that I somehow got. And I saw my MLB's crown. But uh, I'm just the main character. We winners win. All right. Winners win. It's but so simple. Because <laughs> this man, Zeox, is the villain. Me, Ken's like, nah, nigga. I'm the, motherfucker. I'm the motherfucking hero, bro. Main character. But again, if you have pilgrims. You're you don't, set. You don't need none of these kids. If you, you have pilgrims, you do not need. But you don't even need to have the pilgrims. If you have Summer and Nice, even if you have five of these DPSs, Summer and Nice, Scarlet, any of the two, Modernia, Red Hood, Winter Ludmilla, you do not need Trani. So I know you summoned for Trani because of the character's design, which is defeat. You did not summon for, especially after, you want me to believe after Crown, you guys summoned for her because you needed her? Please no. be for real, y'all. Hell no. Please be for real. Y'all think I, you want to come to me and tell me 
that y'all suffered for Trani because you needed her on your account after Crown? Who's gonna believe that I was able to beat Train with our units because of Crown? Who is gonna believe you needed to have tr uh, freaking Trani after Crown? Because I was legit. I was like, because dead ass. I was also gonna do some go into the DK like with the reset. Go in and well, the reset just happened. I was gonna go into DK test out Trani on the next boss and figure out if it's like okay she was see if she was fine because the um previous boss that was tested was chatterbox yeah and i was like okay chatterbox is kind of cooking so then i'll be like all right oh the the current boss is the train i don't i don't see trani being good on the train that's just me because train has a lot of fucking shit that you need to attack and since she's only since her brand effect and shit only affects one target at a time she is going to hella struggle with that. And yes, train is a G D is a whole ass DPS check. So if your Trani isn't hitting crazy numbers, literally, you, you're going to struggle on train. And this especially is, after yeah. Crown, like I said, I know you do not have at least the average ninety plus percent does not have the materials to fully build and invest into Trani after Crown. So please don't tell me that you suffer for Trani because you needed a DPS to beat train. We both know that's a lie. And I've said this before. And, and I, I literally said this in the video, guys. I was like, you guys, you're not... The only people who are going to have these resources for Trani are the whales. Literally. They're the only people that are going to have that kind of fucking materials ready to be able to do this shit. Because they spend the money every, so that they can. Really, they ain't going to be able to have this shit, bro. That's you think exactly if I was free my to, point. If you think I was free to play in this game, I'm just going to have all the shit that I need like right. calm the fuck on guys the character like, trani does pretty good damage but a lot of other characters do pretty good damage a2 does very good damage snow white does very good damage a, a alice does very good damage heck even rem as a burst 2 does pretty good damage yeah. if you fully invest Surprise into me. her right so when another character drops and she's just doing what all these other characters been doing on your account you don't need more than like Okay, how much DPS is what I say you would need on a team? Maybe two to three. It depends on what three. you're fighting and stuff, right? Let's say there's five teams in total for Solar Raid, which more than half you guys don't even do. Um, yeah. That's and like, then... Unless they upgraded the rule. Unless they literally gave out, like, yep. Solar Raid, like, fucking... Everyone gets, like, 300 gems for at least participating or some shit. They really should give more rewards to Solar yep. Raid to actually make it to swear, like, hey, you can... At least if you participate, you get some gems. And then from after the that... Yeah. You're using only one team for everything else. Special interception, uh, story, everything else. You're using, unless it's like SP Arena, which again, a lot of you guys don't even do. So Y'all don't, don't even fucking do. And you get Raid as well, but then you have your union to rely on. So there's that. But you don't need Trani because she does damage. You don't need these characters for none of that stuff. It's just, you need about two to three for each team and you have five teams in solo raid yada 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 right there are more characters who do who hit harder than trani for like your required teams how many times have you heard this is a new team this is a new team just this year alone with the character releases pretty a few we've heard it a few times like oh here's a new team yep. that's gonna clear here's scarlet a dropped this year clear. moderni got a rerun this year d killer wife helps out a lot of people as oh well my God. d killer wife was a giant ass surprise right that was a crown huge... just came out um who came out though that like does damage um that's not a pilgrim this year already that i can think i know made per body is a cert is a unique case yeah, made Privity, she can actually do quite some damage as well, especially on her team, right? So, it's like, you already had all these other D Last year was DPS Fest. You got a DPS every other week at this point, right? Um, So, you already have the DPS you need. So, you, Trani was literally just like, you summoned for her because you wanted the character, right? Here's, look at my, because here's the thing, guys. Look at what I have. I have, I do have all these characters. Yeah, I have characters like Bay, Leona, um, Red Hood, Dorothy, Crown, Rem, Amelia. I have all these characters, but you gotta remember, all I need is a few of these characters and like exactly. a small amount of DPS. My burst exactly. three specifically. I have pre body. I have both of her bodies. Here, here. I have you Helm, have Sugar. I have Laplace. I have Amelia, Alice, Red Hood, Noir. Black S. Let me I show them this as well. Let me show them this. Because here's because here's how I think. Yeah. My team currently, I I can do special interception with two DPSs, and the rest can just support. Crown being like crown, boom, only burst yeah. two I can have, 
or I can have Naga, which is what I have. I could do Crown Naga, and then my two DPSs, and then pretty much Leader, and you're good. You're set. So go or back to your you burst three real quick. Though. You, what? you said what? Go back to your burst three. So take a look at the burst threes here, y'all. For people watching this video, look at the burst threes here. My man has Scarlet, Red Hood, Noir, Alice, Amelia, Laplace, um, Privity, Trani, Helm, Sugar, right? Do you do solo raid, uh, Professor? Nope. You don't do solo raid. So you don't do solo raid, meaning Scarlet and Red Hood is all you need. Is all I fucking all you need. need. If you don't do solar raid, that's all you need because everything else is a one team thing, right? You have crown, right? Oh, yeah, literally. You oh. have you have litter. Or, I got a fucking core five fucking crown, baby. What you think? Wait, do you, you have litter, right? Hell yeah, bro. Core and you have naga, one. right? Yep, I have the school girls too, so brother. If, if you and this is how it is for a lot of the players actually, if you already have these this one team, those characters alone, if you I, have those characters alone, wait, here's, here's, right? Right, here's a better example. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right here. No, no, fuck. Or Bay works too, because Bay literally helps you survive. Right here. This, no, this is dope. What the fuck was I cooking with this? I don't know. What the fuck is this team? Hold on a minute. This was this was not the team I was expecting. Okay, there we go. So some, literally, this is all I need. Literally, that's all you need. So when you're when there's people like you as well who do not do solo raid, right? Do you do union raid? Nope. So there's a lot of people like you as well in this community who do not do solo raid and do not do union raid. And that's completely fine, obviously, right? But when you're in that situation, which most of you guys are, and you have a team like this, do you want me to believe that you needed Trani? You do not. If you're, bro. if this team can't get bro. the job for done for you, I'm telling you, Trani's not even gonna come close. How are you gonna do that, bro? I mean, look how busted this shit is, bro. Right. I have core like core five crown. That's already cracked enough with stats. My leader is core one. I have another copy of uh, Red Hood, and then I have three copies of Black Shadow S. And by the way, guys, these aren't. I don't have overload gear.